Welcome to day 10 of 21 day DAX challenge. Uh, today we are going for a product specific example. Which day of the week does AirPods Pro sell the most? That's a question. Whether it's a Monday or a Tuesday or Wednesday or anything. Okay. Is it a Monday rush or a weekday splurge? Find out the DAX function for that. Okay. So now we are focusing only on one product. That's just an example, but you can take different examples on that. Okay. We want to check the sales for each weekday and return the one which sells the most output would be something, let's say the Friday would be the output here. Now let's try to understand with the help of one DAX function, we'll just create a new measure and here a name of this measure should be something appropriate. So let's write down the name of this function as let's say top weekday airports equals to, we will follow the same uh, method what we are doing for the other examples. We'll first create a variable table, okay, uh, equals to, and here we can add the columns, okay. Out of the entire data, we just want specific data. Now, in this case, we want the weekdays, right? So, we want the name of the day from the entire table, okay. Plus, we also want a sales column, okay. A sales column because we are trying to find out the sales on which particular day is a maximum. And then we will calculate a function over here. And the function would be, let's say, the total sales, okay from that particular data where now the condition becomes here the product name because we are not finding for everything we want definitely total sales but for a product name named as airports pro and then you can again close a bracket enter so this created a virtual table this created a table with a day name and the sales for that particular product here that's a new table now from that table we'll define another variable which will find out the max sales okay how do you find out the max sales would be a function named as max applied on a virtual table and the column name would be given as sales. Okay. Now, what is this sales? Sales is a name of the column which is now created. Okay. Remember, if it is square bracket, that means it's a measure. Okay. So, if it is having a name of the table, it's not a measure. It's a column over here. So, this one thing you have to understand. Next is after you get the output. What you can do is we can just define a variable named as result. Okay. The result would be obviously not the entire thing, but a filter function on the virtual table such that the sales value should be equal to the max sales value. Okay. This should be equal to max sales. And finally, after getting all these calculations, now you can just put return and the function would be given as max. See, we want to just display one day not all the days so we want the output which we got in the result phase and we want just the name of the day okay the name of the day so if we try to break up if you see that's a virtual table created number one from that virtual table we found out a max sales as a variable we try to match from that virtual table with the max sales okay so we try to compare and finally we got a written output in the output, we just want only and only the name of the day. Okay, let's see if it works or not. Now, once you finish, you can just drag and drop over here. And this tells us that Monday was a day where you have sold maximum uh, airports. Okay, that's what the answer it has given. You can find out with the help of creating table and still you can get the output over here. So, this is the challenge 10, which says which weekday has airports pro sold the max. Okay, this way you can find out the answer. The next video will see a challenge 11 of which customers has been with us the longest time, first to last order. That means who is the oldest customer we have. So we'll find out the challenge in the next video.